company is Zach again, NewTutor.com, coming in and making a video for you today. Um, it's time for Sukkot sign up. Sukkot 2022, the sign up page is up live on our website, NewTutor.com. If you're looking for a place to go for Sukkot, um, you're more than welcome to come here. However, there are a few rules, okay? <laughs> um, every year we have a certain amount of rules, and it's the same usually every year. And so um, all of our information and rules and things you're going to need to know are on the website, NewTutor.com, on the Sukkot sign up page. The sign-up page is not yet live, okay? It's not yet live. Um, it goes live in a few days. It's whenever I decide to make it live, okay? So you have to keep checking back to make sure it's there. And so um, one day here soon, in the next few days or so, it'll go live. And then if you check it and you uh, want to go, then you can sign up. Before you sign up, there's some things you need to know. There are... No singles allowed. This is not a singles retreat. If you're a single and you want every year, people go nuts <laughs> because I don't allow singles at my Sukkot. Guys, if you're single, there's lots of other Sukkots, much larger Sukkots, where you're more apt to find other singles that you can relate to and mingle with. So um, find one of those Sukkots. There's a few Sukkots in the Ozarks now that I think are over a thousand people are close to it. Definitely Sukkots that are over 500 people. We only allow 100 people total on our homestead. You know, so I, however many families that works out to, 100 people. I do the math as the registrations come in, and when I see 100 people, I turn the, the sign-off page off or the sign-up page off. So no singles, okay? You have to be married, and you have to have at least one child. So we're looking at families here. Families are invited. You must be married, and you must have at least one child. Um, other than that, most of all the other rules, <coughs> excuse me, you can't have been here before. So, um, only people who are new to the Sukkot. So if you've never been to my Sukkot before, you can sign up. If you've been here before, um, hold off. We're trying, we always try to get new people in, um, and, and just extend that blessing out to people who have never been here before, um, who want, who want to come and enjoy that. Um, we are completely off grid. This is not a place where you can go hook up a camper or have an outlet next to your campsite or you're going to be hauling water. We have a water storage tank in the camp, basically, and um, you can go get the water. You can bring your own water filters, bring your own camping chairs, bring your own cooking stuff like camp stoves and stuff like that. This is an off-grid Sukkot. This is going to be about as close as you can get to the wilderness experience <laughs> uh, that, that is possible. So if you're looking for that off-grid wilderness experience Sukkot uh, and, and, you know, to use it as good training for the greater exodus uh, that is coming one day, the physical greater exodus that is coming, then this is going to be the Sukkot you want to go to. Um, again, only families, no singles. You must have children with you or at least one child. And um, if you're elderly and you have children out of the home and you're married, uh, feel free to send me a message, sign up, and we can see about getting you out here too. Um, you know, so let me know about that. But for the most part, this is all families. Families, um, and I say elderly, I'm thinking like over 60. Okay, you got to be at least over 60. 65, retired, you know, looking for retired people. If you're retired, you know, feel free to come out too. Um, send me a message. And we can work you in or something. But uh, this is, again, more for people who are family-oriented and uh, who have kids. Again, all the information you're going to see or need to see is on our website at the Sukkot sign-up page at newtutora.com. All the stuff you're going to need to bring, all the, you know, the ins and outs of camping out here in an off-grid wilderness homestead is going to be there. And if you read through all that and you're like, okay, this is, this is a great experience, and you read, you know, read through it with your family – um, and if you see that it's okay, then sign up. You know, it's not much to read, so you've got time. You know, once it goes live, or read it now. You have the next few days right now to read it and understand and know, hey, this is something I could sign up for when it goes live. So read it right now and then go and understand, you know, what you're getting in yourself into <laughs> and get your family into. I'm not kidding you. I've had people show up at Arsico before. They were there for three hours, and they turned around and left. <laughs> they didn't even really start unpacking. <laughs> They had teenage girls with them, I think, and um, they were like, this is not for us. we got to go. And so they turned around and left. I mean, it's just it, – it's not for everybody, okay? This is an off-grid primitive camping experience, and uh, we're going to have fun. Uh, Bible study topics this year are going to include Ezekiel. We're going to mostly concentrate in Ezekiel starting after chapter 11, uh, 10 or 11, probably 10, chapter 10. We'll start around chapter 11. Or 10, and then uh, go from there. So if you want to read Ezekiel with us, you, this is probably what we're going to be reading through together. Um, but if you want to read the first 10 chapters of Ezekiel on your own before you get there so you know what's going on, go ahead and do that. 
But uh, that's probably going to be the Bible study topic, along with other Torah portions and stuff as well. So, okay, that's what we're doing today. And uh, if we're getting this Sukkot sign up ready. Uh, new to Torah.com, Sukkot sign up page. If you're interested, go check it out now. Be familiar with what's on there and then prepare to sign up if you're willing to go. All right, guys, go home, read your Bible. Thanks.